Hi, my lovely students. I believe you are doing well. My name is Mr. Yabua Ajabin Nimfa, a teacher at the University of Cape Coast Primary School, and I'm in the computing department. Today, too, what we are going to do is to learn how to create our account using the Schoology platform. You have downloaded it already on your phones, so we are going to use that to create an account so that we can join the online platform designed by the University of Cape Coast Primary School. Okay, connect your phones to the internet and then tap on the Schoology app. Okay, to load the first page, you can see log in through your school or log in through www.schoology.com. You can see continue. Don't use any of these. You can see down there, we have sign up for Schoology. That is the last option when you come down your screen. Sign up for Schoology. So let's tap on that. Good. Sign up for Schoology. We have done that. Then the page will load and says, instructor, student, parent. I am sure you know by now which one you have to select. Of course, student. Thank you. Let's tap on the student. Now it says, access code. As we did with the Ed model, we'll copy access code and give it to your teachers. That is the access code that you use to join the class. So please make sure you type in the access code that the teacher has sent to you through the WhatsApp platforms that you have. And remember, with the Schoology, all the access code is in caps lock. That means capital letters. You type everything as it appears. Don't leave any space. Okay, so I'm going to type in the access code of 5 Nana Opoku Ajiman for this demonstration. Okay, so I have the access code here. I'm going to type it in. Okay, so I'm typing in the access code. When yours come, you have to do the same. Type in the access code. There is no space in what I'm typing. Okay, so don't leave any space as well. Make sure you type in the correct access code. Okay, so I'm doing that. And I'm sure when you get your own, you type in the access code like I've done. What do you do? You tap on continue when you are sure that the access code that you've entered is correct. So let's tap on continue and see. Okay. Good. Once you have the next page like what I have, it means that access code you type in is correct. So I have first name, last name, email address, password, confirm password, birthday, month, day, year. Okay. So, I'll type in my first name, Dana, and I'll type in my last name, Yeboa. Okay, now the email address. We've created email addresses for everybody for the purpose of this work, but it's just for academic purpose. You cannot use the email address to assess anything on the internet. Even when somebody sends you a message to do that, through that email, it won't come. It doesn't work. So, please, it is just for this work. So your teachers will send you one, the access code, and they will add the email addresses that we've created for you. They will add it to it. Okay? So you write that email address down. It is actually very simple. When you see it, you, you understand that it's very simple. Then your access code. You are going to use the access code once. You use it again. The rest is going to be the email address. So in my case, of course, you know, I'm going to type in my email address. Please, as I told you, it's for the purpose of this work. It doesn't work. When you send me any message through what I'm typing, it won't come. So I have, of course, my atos at email.com. So that is the email address that I'm going to use. I'll write it somewhere so I won't forget. My atos with a 4S. So that I have my password. Let me type in my password. And like we did with the Edmodo, whatever password I'm typing. I will delete it later on. It's just for this work. Now, what is going to happen is that as we did with the Edmo, don't give out your password and username to an uh, email address to anybody. People can copy your email address because we're going to put it on the page, but don't give out your password to anyone. Okay? And write it somewhere so that you don't forget it. Okay. So we have birthday. Tap on the month. It will just open the month. Select any month. It's for academic people. Just select any month, not your real month. Then the day. Select any day that you want. But for the year, we want everybody to select 1990 for this work that we are going to do. Select 1990. 
Okay? I know you were not born in 1990. For the purpose of this work, just select 1990. Okay, so I've done that. Then you can see by clicking register, you are agreeing to our privacy policy. So let's just tap on that small box. It will take it. Now let's tap on register and wait and see what will happen. Okay, so the page is loading. Let's see if we did the correct thing. Then we'll know that what we did will really work. So the page is loading. At this stage, your phone is still connected to the internet. Please, don't just um, um, take it off. Make sure your phone is still connected to the internet. So it is creating the account for us. Let's wait and see what will happen. Bam! We can see home. We can see recent activity. We can see course dashboard. We can see um, upcoming. So it is loading up. Let's still be patient and see what will happen. Okay, the page is still loading. Okay, so there are no posts. Don't click it. You can see they have written home. And there are some three bars, three lines at the back of the home. Tap on that three lines. When you tap on it, it will open this page for you like this. You can see Nana Yeboa, that will be your name. Your name will appear. You can see home. You can see courses. You can see group. Just tap on courses. Courses. Let's tap on it. The courses. Okay, you can see the name of your class now will appear. In this case, sorry, I told you I was using five nana. It was actually four nana opoku ajemai that I used. So you can see four nana opoku ajemai. Okay, so let me just tap on it. This is four nana opoku ajemai males. So let me just tap on it. It is loading. Ah, bam, we are in a class. So you can see English language, mathematics, computing, science, French language, OAP and RME, creative arts, Fancy language. So we have all this. So what you do is that these are folders. You need to tap on the folder to see if your teacher has put the work there. So what we are going to do is that this was for registration. Our next video is going to be how to do your exercise, how to read your notes when you're on Schoology platform. Okay, so when you are done doing your work, you can see 4 nano opokwa jimai. And there are those three lines still appear at the left side of 4 nano opokwa jimai. Tap on those lines. You can see courses, and there's an arrow pointing backwards at the left side. Tap on that arrow. You can now see um, your name, Nana Yeboa. Then you can see long list. And then the last list, we have log out. So you tap on log out to log out of the class. Do you want to log out? Okay, so we click on it, and then it takes us out of the class. We've told you anytime you do your work, please make sure you log out so that you move out of the class. Nobody can use your account to do anything else. All right. So this is how to create an account using Schoology to join our platform. I'm sure you have enjoyed the video. Please try your best to do it and make sure you register to join the platforms. Then we are good to go and we'll take our works there. All right. Next time when we meet, we'll talk about how to do your exercises using Schoology. Until then, au revoir. Bye-bye.